Welcome to video J6, uh, another interesting remainder problem. Here it goes. A counting number is picked at random. First, the number is doubled. Then, this result is squared. Finally, this result is divided by 6. After doing all those operations, find the probability that the remainder is 4. Here's a classic problem where you're just going to play with numbers, look for a pattern, and go from there. All right, so let's just start at the beginning. The first counting number is 1, 2, 3, etc. So um, I'll say the number 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, I'll double it. I'll square it. And I'll divide by 6, and let's just see what goes up. So double it, we get 2, square it, uh, we're going to get 4, divide by 6, 4 divided by 6 is 0, remainder 4. 2, we'll double it, we'll get 4, square it, we'll get 16, 16 divided by 6, that's going to be 2, um, to remainder 4. Alright, um, so then we've got uh, 3, we'll double it, we'll get 6, square it, we'll get 36, divide it by 6, and we'll get 6, remainder 0. 4, we'll double it, we'll get 8, square it, we'll get 64, 64 divided by 6, um, we'll get 10, remainder 4, uh, we'll just keep going here, 5, double it, we'll get 10, square it, we'll get 100, 100 divided by 6, 1, 6, 46, 36, 16 remainder 4, uh, I'll just try one more, 6, double it, 12, square it, 144, 144 divided by 6, 144 divided by 6, 2, 12, 24, 24 remainder 0. So it looks like we got a cycle of 3. Remainder 4, remainder 4, remainder 0. Remainder 4, remainder 4, remainder 0. So I've got a cycle of 3. And the problem said, find the probability that the remainder is 4. Well, there's two remainders of 4 out of 3 in the cycle. So the probability will be 2 out of 3. Again, two successes out of 3 total. And there you have it, how to solve another interesting remainder problem.